As we enter into the Lenten season, I have really one prayer for all of our members. And this would be the prayer, the one thing I hope every one of our members takes on this Lent, is that one day you should have such a deep desire to get to heaven. We're going to sing this song all during the Lenten season to remind us that that really is the goal, the destination, and has to be the fervent prayer in our life. And if that's the prayer in our life, that one day you, I, we should get to heaven, then you and I are going to do whatever work we need to do to make sure that that happens. So we're going to be kinder, loving, more thoughtful, more giving, more generous, all those things. Why? Because we desire to be with the Lord. And we desire to be with God forever in heaven. That's my hope. That's my prayer. You're going to hear from our members on what they're going to do, those things that they're going to give up or take on, so that all of us together, they, all of us together, can walk that path that leads to heaven. Have a blessed Lent. My name is Tyler, and I'm going to give up sweets and procrastination for Lent. I'm giving up all sweets. Sweets and fried foods. But more importantly, we're focusing on our prayer lives. For Lent, less complaining and more joy. I think I would want to give up uh, screen time just a little bit, uh, spend more time with my family, um, just more quality time with everyone else and God. I think for Lent this year, I am going to give up one thing that I especially like is probably my evening Corona every with every meal. So I'm gonna try to cut that off and then maybe increase my daily prayer. I'm giving sweets up for Lent this year. It's gonna be hard, but I know that I'm gonna be doing it with God all the way through. You say I'm giving up Father Bob. Uh, no, no, I'm gonna, help. I'm gonna make sure Father Bob makes all his lists up. Amen, thank you. <laughs> Give up sweets? I would starve if I didn't eat my sweets. That's beautiful, Maya. Thank you so much. Hey, I do home health care. I've been doing it for nine years. I'm going to try to go that extra mile for each of my clients. I am giving up uh, smoking, so it'll be better for my health. I heard this morning on TV that there's a 14% increase in teen suicides, and I'm going to pray all through Lent for these teens that they get over their affliction. Hi, my name is Bob. What I'm gonna do this year for Lent is send gift letters to individuals of either family, friends, or people that maybe are just partially acquaintances that have influenced my life or that maybe I've influenced theirs to be um, more faithful. So basically I'm just gonna send out letters of gifts of thank you that they are basically my gifts from God, uh, including my family and friends, my children, uh, grandchildren, and others. Uh, so that's what I'm going to commit myself to do this year for Lent. What I'm going to do for Lent is I'm going to make some time to prayer every morning and afternoon. As long with going praying, I want to make sure I get closest to all my family and friends through this time of Lent. Hello, my name's Sue. Um, after a lot of thought and prayer, and I'm proud of myself that I actually know what I'm doing this early before Ash Wednesday. Uh, what I'm going to do, my sacrifice is to go to bed earlier. I'm a night person, but I want to go to bed earlier so I can get up earlier so that I can have time for prayer with God and get the strength to go through my day and bring Him glory. I am giving up for Lent being negative. Okay, what am I giving up for Lent? I don't think I'm giving anything up for Lent. I think what I'm going to do is spend more time, quiet time, and focus myself with Jesus and give myself time to be able to pray, which as you know, I don't have much time to do.